Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amudal Shaktivel, and in this video, we're gonna see how we can tap on an element. Uh, so basically, uh, APM 2.0 doesn't have any changes related to gestures, but APM Java client 8.x version does. So if you are using APM Java version, the client version less than eight, you might be using Android touch action and iOS touch action, but those are now deprecated. Um, so I thought I will also cover that as part of this APM 2.0 series, even though it has uh, nothing to do with APM 2.0, which is the server side changes, right? So this is mostly the client side changes and, and we wanna see how we can perform a tap on an element. Tapping on an element is, is more of a native event then the click, apart, apart from that, there is no significant difference between these two. Uh, without wasting much time, uh, let's see how we can do this. So this is an existing test that we had uh, used. So basically I'm gonna do a copy paste so I can reuse this. And then I say, just tap. Uh, so I'm gonna test tapping. Uh, so basically this is, this is the code that launches the device. And then, you know, we don't need all of that. Uh, just getting rid of all these pieces. So instead of performing a normal click, all I want to do is, is performing a tap, which is more of a native event. That's what we're gonna do. In order to perform this tap, you need to understand a lot of things. Basically, we need to understand a lot of things. Um, one of them is, uh, imagine in your mind, if you wanna press a element in your mobile, what you would do, right? So you would basically, uh, Just a second. Uh, so, so let's assume this is your mobile, right? And this mobile, let's say there is an element here, okay? You want to press on the center of the element. This is the tapping operation, how we will do it. So in order to do this, you need a lot of components. One, you need your finger. Two, uh, you need to find the center of the element in order to perform the click. Three, uh, you have to move your finger here, press the finger, wait for a few, very few milliseconds, and then take out, take out your finger. This is what we want to do. So first, first thing first, how we are going to find the center of the element, because there is no direct way that you could find a center of an element. So all you have to do is find the location of the element. So you have, you can find the location of the element relative to the screen. And then uh, you also have, can find the element size, okay? So these are the two things that you can use to find the element um, thing. So let's say um, you have to find the element dot get location. So basically this will give you how how much, uh, you know, where it is present, this element. So this this particular uh, distance it will give, and then uh, that for the Y axis, it will give you this particular distance. So it will give you this particular distance. So X axis and Y axis, it will give you these two distance, but you want to the center point here. So then you can find the element dot size. Okay, this is, let's say you want to find the element dot size, which will give you the length and the width of this particular element. So the, if you if you want to find the center, all you have to do is find the location dot X and then plus length by two. So this will basically give you the center of the element. Similarly, you find the y of the element and then find y by two of the height of the element. So that's going to give you the center point, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. First, we're going to find the center of the element. Let's do it via code. So let me clear, uh, I'll just, just close this and then say, uh, let's call this element with a name. Uh, you know, let's say I, I call it as open menu. And then what I want to do is uh, basically, first get the open menu, right? So open menu dot get location. So this is going to give me the location and then open menu dot get size of the element. Okay, this is what I want. Once you have these two things, I'm gonna create a very small method that's gonna do the job of finding the center of the element. So what, what I want to call it is get center of elements, right? That's what I want to call it. And this needs two parameters, that is location and size. If I give both of these values, um, basically you can find the center of the element, right? And here what I'm going to do is return a new point. Okay, point is basically a coordinate. 
So if you combine x and y coordinate, it becomes a point, right? That's what it is. So I'm going to create a point. Um, for that, I want to pass the x coordinate. What is the x coordinate? X coordinate is basically location dot get x plus size dot get width. So basically, there is no length here. This is width. So the width of the element is this. But what I want is by two. So I want location dot get x plus width by two. Once you are done with this, the next you want the y axis. Y axis is location dot get y plus size dot get height by two. So now using these two values, you have actually find the uh, tenth of the element. So so basically, and then we can do is this is basically a point, right? So all good looks good here, but there is one extra bracket that was causing all the issues. Now it is all good. So once you have this, you have the center of the element now. That's it. So now we have the, find the center of the element. Now we have to, you know, create an imaginary finger and then move the finger to the center of the element. Press the finger, wait for a few seconds, and then take out the finger. So how to do this? Right. So, so we're going to perform a sequence of events. That's why we are using a sequence class from interactions package. And this basically needs an input source, which is your finger. You want to you want to use your finger to perform a sequence of event. So what I'm going to do is new uh, finger input. I think pointer input. Yeah, pointer input. And then it is of there are different kind kind of inputs that you can do. One is touch. Uh, another one is via mouse, you can interact with the mobile using a mouse. So here is mostly a touch action and then you can name this particular uh, finger as finger one. See, this is this naming is pretty useful uh, in the cases, let's say you want to do pinch and zoom. So you want to interact with three to four fingers at the same time. You know, those kind of events can be, uh, you know, very tricky if you don't have a name. That's why you can call them as uh, some name, right? So, so it understands this. So now you, you are going to perform a sequence of events. Uh, and here it, it, it is asking you two things. One, you can pass using which you want to perform this event. And then the other one is, let's go here. It asks for, for an initial length. So is there any sequence that you want to, you know, let's say, uh, if you are creating an object, we pass initial values to it, right? So using constructor. Similarly, here sequence. Um, so here, what I want to do is I want to introduce a new variable and I call it as finger one. Good. So now you can just give it as one for now uh, and then just go ahead, right? So so initially, it, it doesn't have anything apart from we are just simply initializing the action. And then the first action that I want to do here is uh, finger one dot create pointer move. So we want to move the pointer on top of this particular center, right? So that's what, there are a lot of options. The duration indicates how fast you want to go there. So I want to go relatively very fast. So don't give any sort of time there. Uh, two, uh, second parameter that I want to give here is basically the origin. So based on which you want to move. So I want to move based on um, origin dot viewport. So viewport is something that you, when you see a mobile, you see the see the screen, right? That is called as viewport. And the third one that is asking is you can either pass me x and y coordinates or the point itself, right? So there are other things that you can pass, but in our case, you can simply pass the center of the element, right? That is more than enough. Or you could also do center dot get x, center of the element dot get y. You can also do this, but why do you want to complicate things when you can just directly pass the center of element? So once, so after this action, the mouse, so the finger is on top of the screen. Now you have to press your finger down and touch the mobile screen. That, that's what you want to do. So this finger one dot create pointer down. So, so what do you want to do with here? So there is something called as finger input. Think there is something in the interactions package. Uh, so let's go to the interaction package. There are a lot of stuff uh, that we need from there. Um, 
I think let's go here. Mm. It just basically, uh, you know, there are a lot of classes and remembering all its names is, is pretty difficult for me. So this is origin class and that is called this mouse button. So pointer input, okay. So what I have to do is pointer input dot and then the mouse button, I want to use left button, okay. So let's say you, you, you move your mouse here and then what do you want to do? You want to press your uh, left click, right? It's, it's kind of similar to that. So you just perform that. So let me clear all the drawings so that it, it doesn't, um, so let's clear. Yeah. So all the drawings are now gone. So now you can see, we, we move the finger, we press the finger, and then what you want to do is, we want to pause for a few seconds, right? So the duration of millis, and then I want to pause for 200 milliseconds, but what is sex king? So pause is basically taking two things. Okay, which one you want to pass? I want to pass the finger one. Okay. After pressing the button screen, I want to wait for 200 milliseconds. Then I want to add another action by taking my finger out. Without taking your finger out, uh, it is not a tap even. So whatever I did a pointer down, I just doing a pointer up, which means I'm taking my finger up. That's it. These are the list of sequence of events that I want to perform, okay? So, which I want to perform, that's why the name it is perform method, and it basically accepts collection of sequence, but we have just sequence. So all I'm doing is collection that singleton list, and then the sequence, I can just pass the sequence. That's it. So this will basically do the sequence that you have mentioned, which is, which is actually a tab thing, right? So, so yeah, it's not as simple as you expect, like, you know, we all expect open menu dot tab would basically do the tab, but it's not the case here. It, it is a little tricky, right? Once you do this, you perform the click and then, you know, let's see whether it is working. So, so I have my APM server started, um, you know, with the, with the element weight plugin. So I don't have any weights given here. Okay. So if you are not giving any weights, your test might fail because of waiting. But here it should click on the, yes, it, should, it is clicked on the hamburger menu and the side menu got open. So the code is absolutely working fine. Okay. So this is how you perform a tap. It's not so easy, but uh, you know, this is just a one-time effort. What you can do is you can create a method called a tab, which basically accepts a web element. And then you can enter, enter up all this code within that, right? So you can do all of that. Okay, inside this, okay. What I want is if somebody is just passing you this, you can use. So now you can say tab and then you pass the open menu and then this should work. So this is just one time effort. Again, uh, there is a way how we could optimize this. Um, and you need to pass the driver as well. So otherwise you make the drivers global, right? So maybe I just do this for now, just to satisfy the compiler. Uh, web driver is just basically here it's android driver but you can just save web driver on driver one right all these things are good okay so you have to just give android back good so yeah so again in selenite apm so i'm going to start a new series called selenite apm where this code will become more readable you don't even have to worry about all these things you just mention tap and then it's going to tap everything for you. So yeah, we will cover that in the next playlist. But for now, um, you know, I hope this video is useful. So please do like the channel, subscribe and share it with your friends. See you guys in another great video. Tata bye.